Well, I'll say this for sure. A lot of people have been unsubscribing since I haven't been making very many, uh, you know, social commentary videos. They'll come up when something significant comes up. The way it is right now, I mean, even when I haven't, I'm not even talking about those subjects, we've got, I got these jackasses coming in uh, that are just as ideological as the uh, feminists who see misogyny and patriarchy everywhere, and they're just as ideological as the MRAs who see misandry everywhere. Um, they're the people who think that Actually, I'd say they're even more ideological. They're the people who think that everything that mainstream media says is a lie and everything that some crazed person says on some small website or anything that, that uh, Alex Jones says must be true. Sorry, you're, 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 I'd say you guys are more ridiculous than some of these the more mainstream ideologies that you see around. See, because once you start to say that, oh, well, nothing is valid uh, unless I feel it's valid, then, then, I mean, you start going into the people, the people, oh, oh, the earth is flat and nothing that we've, we've come to a realization of that's allowed us to, to progress as we have uh, technologically, as a culture, the whole thing, everything that's allowed us to progress in, in any way, you want to just toss away because, well, you know, uh, 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 I don't even know what, what the reason is. I don't even know why you're wanting to do it. Uh, MAGA? Um, I just, I don't know. Uh, you get off on, uh, on the idea that you know something that everybody else doesn't. I mean, that's something that, that you can, can get into. I, I've, I've went through periods of that myself. You know, you have this, this feeling like, oh, I know something that other people don't. And you can go around with this, this attitude like, uh, like you're somehow more special because of what you know or think about. Right? I've went through that sort of thing. But it just grows tiresome. I mean, these, these people who spew this shit wouldn't care if it, something happened right in front of them. They'd still find some way to say that, that, I mean, if a shooting happened right in front of them, they'd, just, they'd still say that it was staged or that it was, you know. I understand being, you know, questioning whether there's a possibility uh, that there could be some sort of staging going on somewhere. Fine. Question, you know, wonder if there's a possibility. But these people aren't wondering if there's a possibility. They're not just questioning. They're saying that these things didn't happen. They've made a conclusion based off of almost no information at all. In fact, they've made a conclusion based off of the opposite information of what would lead them to have their beliefs. You know, it's the belief first and ha try to find everything you can to prove your belief. And that's, sorry, that's not the scientific method. And no matter how much you jump up and down and say the word science, it doesn't make it science. Okay, there's a point when, okay, you're, it's not, it's no longer being a skeptic when you're questioning standard information that we've built so much of our technology and society upon. That's, that's not being a skeptic. That's being an idiot. Okay, if there's some sort of a claim that's being made that's questionable, that's what you should be skeptical about. And these claims of, uh, oh, uh, it's, it's Sandy hoax and uh, Parkland shooting was a hoax and that. Yet people making those claims, those are the ones that you should be skeptical of. Not, not the other way around. And the more I see this type of thing, the more I don't want to make these kinds of videos because it's, it's just, it gets tiresome arguing against people who have who have no real standard for what proof is for something. Since no amount of proof will be enough for these people. Okay, these aren't skeptics, these are idiots.